Pat Robertson uh, did a segment giving medical advice, and it's just as cringeworthy as you think it's going to be. And welcome back to the 700 Club. It's time to bring it on with your email questions. We're going to start with Tiffany. She writes, first, I just want to say, I love you. Well, we love you, too. Um, I've been extremely ill for almost seven years. I pray. I read the Bible. I've asked for healing and have been prayed over many times. What hurts the most is that I feel abandoned by God when I have loved him so much. I have MS. I am chemically and environmentally sensitive, which means I am allergic to many everyday things. There are only a few foods that I can eat. I feel forsaken. I've been watching your show for a long time now, waiting for my name to be called when you have a word of knowledge. And I'm so happy for those who say they are healed, but is healing not for everyone? You know, when Jesus was here on earth, he healed everybody who came to him. There was not one person who came to Jesus who he turned by. He, he gave them some tests sometimes. He made them struggle sometimes. But every single one was healed that he came to Jesus. Now, listen. I have dealt with MS. I have seen MS miraculously healed. Mm -hmm. I, I know this sounds strange, but I do believe that there's a spiritual component in MS that's like a demonic. And it's one of those things that you literally have to cast out. But I have seen people with MS get up out of a wheelchair and push the wheelchair out of the room where we were. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it. I've, I've been involved in it. but. It is a horrible thing. It's a wasting disease. It just eats all the energy and the fiber and everything. Um, I would recommend, among other things, that you check with an endocrinologist to see if there's something, some chemical or something that could be done that would build up that immune system that you've got or something that you're eating that's causing the problem. But you need, in the name of Jesus, to rebuke that thing and to say to your body, you will be whole. Uh, uh, it's like he said everything you could possibly say that's wrong there. <laughs> oh, that was so That was hard to watch. It, isn't it amazing that this guy is on TV in 2017? Like, he has a show <laughs> in 2017. Oh, I feel so bad for the people that watch him. And by the way, this was a step up because at least at one point in his incoherent babble, he said, you know, maybe you go to an endocrinologist or some sort of doctor too. Because usually, Pat Robertson, we've covered the stories where he'll talk about medical problems and he'll say like, no, the answer is like faith healing and Jesus. And, it, you know, that's, that's the answer. No, you jackass. That is profoundly dangerous to talk to people in your audience who are suckers and don't know any better and to act like don't go to the doctor ah so what pray away the cancer yeah oh stop pat stop 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 okay so um the problem with this is that he's basically shaming somebody with ms and basically portraying it as some sort of a moral failure like, hey, Jesus, anybody Jesus healed got better. They got better. So maybe Jesus hasn't healed you, or maybe he tried to heal you, but you're so defective as a person. You just got to cast that demon. You got to cast the demon out. That's another thing he said. There's a spiritual component to this. It's demonic. No, yeah, you're telling this poor woman who's already sick and miserable. And by the way, there's a demon inside of you. And there's a spiritual component, which means you failed on some level spiritually, which is why you're, you know, you're infected by this demon. And... You better get to work on fixing yourself to... No, it's not her fault. Oh, my God. It's not a moral failing. Oh, you're shaming this poor woman with MS. Oh. Is there any good that comes out of Pat Robertson's show? Oh, he's such a fucking con artist. I don't know how anybody can take him seriously. Well, look, the good news is it's the age of the internet, and obviously millennials don't buy his garbage. Uh, and people can fact check now. And what you just heard is a cranky, rambling old man giving medical advice when he's not a doctor and making up stuff about demons and spiritual warfare when, of course, I don't even need to get into this, but there's no evidence any of that shit is real anyway. So don't buy into his ooga booga, give me money act because that's all it is. It's, it's, uh, he's playing an angle 
to get himself rich. He's been getting rich off of going, Jesus is Lord, for years now.